Hey guys, this is BK from CocoZini.com. So today's tutorial is on a requested crop top for my daughter. So a few weeks ago, she sent me this crop top and she wanted she asked if I could make one for her. And she actually went to my stack of fabrics and uh, picked the exact fabric that she wanted me to use for her. So um, when I was making this, I decided to do a tutorial on it. Here she is rocking the crop top and she said she loved she loved it so let me know what you think in the comments below here are the measurements you need for this crop top also you will need a three quarter inches wide elastic and um, I use a yard by 53 inches long fabric for this. Put the fabric on fold, then get the measurement of how long you want the crop top to be. For my daughter, she wants her crop top to be 19 inches long because she, does, she really wanted to cover her belly button. And also she wants the off shoulder to be five inches deep. So here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to move up five inches from the top of the fabric, like so. And I'm going to mark out the 19 inches right there. So the beginning of the fabric or the crop top starts from the top, but I'm taking off five inches out of it for the off shoulder. So I'm going to add three inches more to this and the three inches is for the elastic casing on top and also the bottom of the crop top right there then you take the measurement of your upper bust times 1.5 divided by 4 whatever you get you measure you mark it down on the fabric from the fold of the fabric then you add two inches to it for the seam allowance. Then you can go ahead and mark it down and cut out the measurement when you're done. I cut two panels for the back and from for the front from the measurement I did earlier. So now we'll have to work on the on the armhole. So our, our, our armhole measurement is nine inches. So I'm going to take five inches out of it, just like I did to the front and back of the crop top. So I took nine out of it, um, sorry, I took five inches out of it and there is four inches left. And also from the side seam, I'm going to measure two inches that I did earlier or that I added to the measurement of the upper bust. Then I'm going to mark it down And I'm also going to square it, square it up so it will be easy for me to draw the angle of the ammo. Go ahead and, and cut it out. And remember, you are cutting from the side seam, which is the not you're not cutting from the folded part of the fabric from for the from the open part, which is a side seam of the fabric. So we're going to do the same thing to the back panel. And um, in order to do that, to make it easy for us, we're just going to place the front panel on top of the back panel, like so. Align it, and align it and make sure it's well aligned. The fabric I'm using is a little slippery, so I really need to work on aligning it properly before I go ahead and cut it. So once I get it all aligned, I'm just going to go ahead and, and cut it using the front panel. For the sleeves, 
you're going to take a measurement from the shoulder to how long you want your sleeve to be before you add the peplum to it. And right now I'm putting the sleeves on fold because I want to cut two sleeves. My daughter's measurement is 14 and a half before adding peplum. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take out five inches out of the 14 and a half and the five inches is a off shoulder. So I'm also going to add one and a half inch for the elastic casing and one and also add half inch for the same allowance. So I'm looking at a total of 16 inches here. So which means 16 inches minus the five inches above, which is uh, of the shoulder amount, then I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Before you cut it, I totally forgot to tell you how wide you want your sleeve to be. So I'm going to go according to my daughter's measurement. So you will get the measurement of your bicep plus six inches. For my daughter, her bicep is 14 inches. So I'm adding six inches to it, making, making it a total of 20 inches. So that six inches is going to be the allowance for the garters. So I've already cut out the sleeves here. And I'm just gonna show you what I'm talking about. So with the 20 inches, I'm going to divide it by two because it's on fold. So I'm going to So I'm going to measure from the folded part of the sleeves. You see I have 10 inches here. So 10 times 2 is 20 inches. So that's going to be the sleeve width plus the garters. So here's what I'm going to do to the sleeves again. I'm going to use the measurement of the armhole that I have from the bodice right at the side whereby at the side seam of the sleeves I'm going to cut out the same thing that I did to the bodice like so. So I'm cutting the two sleeves by the way. So here is the sleeves and that is the side seam and um, it's unfold. So another thing I'm going to do is because we want the sleeves to be a little bit slim by the elbow, I'm going to measure the elbow part or where the how long you want the sleeves to be before you add the peplum. And you divide the measurement by two or and for my daughter, I think it's, it was six. So I added one inch seam allowance to it. Then I'm going to draw a line to join in, join it to the the armhole of the sleeve, like so. So that way we are creating a slope for the sleeves because we don't want an open sleeve. She want her sleeve to be a little bit um, snug to her bicep. So, and that is how I could be able to do that there. So that is the sleeves. And that's how it's going to look like when I'm done cutting it. And I have two sleeves there. For the peplum garters, you have to, to measure the length, measure from where the upper part of the sleeve ends to how long you want the peplum garters to be, or how long you want the sleeves to be. And to, to measure the width, of the peplum multiply your elbow by two and if you want it to be a lot of garters in there to be very full you can multiply it by three or two and a half because i don't have enough fabric i'm multiplying mine by two so let's start joining the top together with right side together put the bodies facing each other then go ahead and sew down the seam by the sides with one inch seam allowance and also take the sleeves 
fold it and sew the same with one inch seam allowance. I'm done sewing the, the seams or the side seams and I've also ironed it both the bodies and the sleeves. I have also gone ahead to finish the edges. So here's a closer look. Here is a seam and also the edges are finished. I use my serger in finishing the edges. I also try to align the lines of the fabric together. So that's the ammo that we have after we've got done sewing the side seam. Here is the sleeves. I've joined the sides together and I also finish all the edges. And that's the ammo after I got done sewing it together. So here is what we're going to do next. We're going to turn our sleeves right side out, like so. Then we're going to put it inside the bodice. The bodice is wrong, has its wrong side outside. So just make sure the, the right, sides, right sides are facing each other. Then go ahead and align the sleeves ammo together and uh, the bodies ammo pin it together make sure you al make sure the seam are all aligned both the ammo of the bodies and the ammo of the sleeves are all aligned together then when you're done take it to the machine and sew it together just make sure you're sewing the two sleeves you're going to do the same thing you do to, the, to these sleeves here, also to the second sleeve sides. So I'm done joining it together. And that is the same with half an inch seam, half an inch seam allowance. Here is what it looks like after I got done. So that's the sleeve attached to the bodice. Right there. So the next thing we're going to do is, on the top, we're going to fold it in one and a half inch, like that. You can start from one of the seam side of the sleeves. You take a pin and pin it together, and pin it down, sorry. So you pin it all the way around. Then you'll be stitching on this seam all the way around and when you're done you make sure you leave a little itty bitty hole that will allow for the elastic see i left a little bit of hole which is like an inch or an inch and a half and that is who, where we're going to insert our elastic so we're going to do the same thing also to the bottom part of the bodice. So here is the garters. For the garters of peplum, I use 10 inches long. So this, to decide the width of it, I'm using the measurement of the elbow multiplied by two. But if you want it to be very full, you can multiply it by three or two and a half. But for the amount of fabric I have, I'm only multiplying it by two. So go ahead and stitch the side of the peplum or garters and also run a basting stitch all around, just one line all around it after you're done putting it, um, sewing the side seam. Here is a side seam. I've done sewing the side seam. I've finished the edges too. And I also run one line of a basting stitch using the longest stitch on your machine. So I just run a line all around the peplum. To make the gathers, you pull one of the basting stitch thread. It could be the top one or the bottom one. So just pull a little, do not pull it so hard, just pull it a little. Then you push back the gathers or distribute the garters a little bit. Then you continue and pull more, then distribute the garters. 
you're going to continue to do this until you get the amount or the length of the elbow measurement where you'll be inserting the garters. I'm done with the garters or the peplum, whichever you call it. So I'm going to add it to the sleeves. So in order to do that, I'm going to turn it right side out. Then I'm going to insert it inside the sleeve, making sure that the sleeve has the wrong side out. In other words, the right side of the peplum or the garters is facing the right side of the sleeves. Then we're going to join it together, aligning the seams. Make sure the seam of the garters is aligned to the seam of the sleeves. Then you will sew it together. You can make sure you pin it if you can pin, or if you can do it without pinning, just go ahead and sew it together with five inches. Oh, what am I saying? With half an inch seam allowance, I'm sorry. So you're sewing it together with half an inch seam allowance. Go ahead and do the same to the sec to the other side of the sleeve, or the to the other sleeves, I would say. I'm done with the sleeves, the both sleeves. I've joined the peplum to the sleeve and I've ironed it facing up. I've also gone ahead to hem the sleeve with five an inch seam allowance. And I've also ironed it. Once you're done, and uh, if you haven't done the bottom of the bodice, you go ahead and hem it with one and a half inches seam, just like we did the top of the bodice. And also we're going to leave a little hole that we're going to use to insert the elastic. So grab your elastic, measure around your shoulder, Whatever measurement that you have, multiply, I mean, whatever measurement that you have, minus two inches from it. Then cut it out. Grab a bobbin pin. Then open up the little hole that you left when you were sewing the one inch seam. And go ahead and uh, put the elastic into it. As you're putting the pin, just keep dragging it back, just like so. Once you're done putting the elastic together, overlap the beginning and the end of the elastic, then run a zigzag stitch on it several times. And when you're done, Go ahead and close out that little space of hole that you have on the seam. We're going to do the same thing to the bottom of the bodice. So what we're going to do is for the bottom part of the crop top, you will use the measurement of your waist and minus two inches from it, whatever amount that is left you will just cut the elastic in that size, then you will insert it into the bottom of the crop top using the, I mean, just the same way we did the top of the crop top. So that's the end of the tutorial today. Let me know what you think. And um, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me. And for the returning subscribers, Thank you for coming back to check my tutorials out. If you have any comments on this um, tutorial, leave a comment down below. 
Also, let me know what you think. Here is my daughter rocking the peplum. I mean, she says she likes it, and I think it looks very good on her. So until I see you next time, thank you for coming over, and stay blessed. Thank <laughs> you.